Good morning guys. It is about 5.10 and I am having my first cup of coffee and my first bottle of water. Okay, and breakfast today, it doesn't look pretty, but it is some non-fat vanilla Greek yogurt. It's the, like the Great Value brand, the Walmart brand in the big tub. And I have some mango and dark sweet cherries that are frozen, but I let thaw out last night. And then I sprinkled some pumpkin pie spice on top. So this will be breakfast. Okay, so I am packing up my lunch and snack to take to work. And for lunch, I'm just having some leftovers. So I had a leftover baked potato and some broccoli. And then this is the chicken that I meal prepped. So I'm just going to have a little bit of baked potato, broccoli, and chicken. And then um, I have uh, some fat-free sour cream here. So the baked potato was five ounces, which I believe is what, 5.6%, I'm not sure. I'll have to put it in, I'll put it on the screen. Um, and then the broccoli, of course, is zero, and this is three ounces of chicken. So it's no count on simply filling. Again, I will have it on the screen, how many points it is. And then this is, I don't know, about two tablespoons of sour cream. And um, I have a Greek 100 protein yogurt, which is no count on simply filling in three points on smart points, sugar-free jello. I have some cherry tomatoes, some peppers, and some carrots. And I'm thinking I might throw a fruit in here. I think I'll grab an apple and take an apple with me as well. And I do have um, an applesauce and a popcorn at work too. So if for some reason I need something else, I do have those at work. Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I am on my way to get some coffee. And uh, I just wanna thank everyone for everyone's sweet comments and well wishes and and all that stuff. I am going to get to comments tonight. I didn't have a chance yesterday. Um, you know, by the time I got dinner made and got my video uploaded and all that, I just did not have time to go through everything um, after that. I mean, usually once I get my video, my video was uploaded about, I was having issues. My internet at home is driving me crazy. It keeps going in and out and it's just nuts. Anyway, so my video did not get up till about 8.30 and we got, we're in bed by 9. So that's why I didn't get a chance. I just was reading, I was definitely reading the comments though as they were coming through. And I do appreciate everything and I will get to you guys today. Um, as far as my mood today, I don't know. I'm just still not feeling 100%. But I am sure it's just hormones. I can't get into my doctor until like is the day may something i really hate that we have to go to like our medical home for insurance to pay for it it's really frustrating and at my at my doctor's office only two so two three two or three i think it's two of the doctors um are covered by my insurance so even though it's a big doctor's office each of the doctors can accept whatever insurance they want and only two of them take my insurance so I only have a choice of two and they were like six weeks out so since it's not you know an emergency or anything now they did tell me that if I start having any more complications with my cycle or anything that concern me then I should definitely call back and they'll get me in like on a standby think type thing but the only issue with that is that I my doctor's office is kind of closer to my home than my work and so if they call me while I'm at work I don't know if I can get there within like 15 minutes so that's an issue about being kind of like an on-call standby type thing now my doctor's office does have walk-in off hours but sometimes you can sit there for two three hours waiting to get in so so I'm just gonna kind of hold off and wait and see what happens um, but I mean, I'm not feeling horrible, but I'm just not, you know, just not a hundred percent. I'm in the coffee line. I thought I forgot my purse, but then I remembered that I still have money on my coffee card. So I will use this. Um, anyway, so I'm here. I'm good. I was on plan yesterday. felt really good about it. I could have drank more water. And how I know that is when I woke up this morning, 
my mouth was really dry I have my sinuses are killing me I've been sneezing like crazy and I think it's just I have really I think that was part of it but um, yeah I woke up my mouth was really dry and usually that's due to um, not drinking enough water so I need to get that water up I felt like I did really good I drank tea most of the day but nope obviously not enough uh, tonight for dinner, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to do huevos rancheros, which I have never had before. So I'm curious about how that's going to be. I'm excited about it. So that will be my um, dinner tonight. And I will show you a picture of that, of course. And I am using up leftovers in my refrigerator. I threw away way too many things last week. I thought the kids would eat it, or my, that my stepson that's at home would eat it during the week, but he didn't. So my goal this week is not to waste any food so that's why i brought leftovers for lunch which is perfect um yeah so i'm not expecting anything um exciting today i did really good showing you guys my food yesterday i'm proud of myself because i showed you every single thing i ate hey guys i got my coffee so what i usually get is a large iced what we call a kicker and it has non-fat milk and sugar-free Irish cream. So it's 100% simply filling. It'd probably be about four points, I would say, um, on smart points because of the amount of milk that is in it. And I am just arriving to work. Um, I was gonna share something else. Oh, was so exercise this week. I'm just going, I don't know. I'm, I don't feel like I'm in the mood for exercise, but then on the other hand, I know that it'd probably make me feel better and might be get me in a better mood. So, because I did exercise all week last week, I did my walking with Leslie videos. So I might try to do that this morning. I just haven't been waking up early and I think it's because my um, husband, la all last week um, and, this, and so far this week, I mean it's only two days, but he hasn't had to be to work until um, six, five or six. Like I think 5.50 has been the earliest. Which, if you guys remember, normally he goes in between 3.30 and 4.30. Um, but luckily, he has been asking for some later times um, due to, mainly due to his medication. Um, yes, he takes medication that makes him kind of hard for him to get up in the morning. And it's been, it was really hard for him to kind of function. And his doctor changed his medication and changed around like when he takes his medication. So we're kind of hoping that that would help. And so now we don't know, since he's been taking some later start times, now we don't know if it's the medication or if it's the later start times. And he goes back to his doctor on Friday t for a check-in to see how the new medication is doing. I personally think it's the new medication because I notice his moods have been a lot better as well. And that's what this medication was supposed to help with too because he was on... A certain antidepressant and then they changed them to a different one that they said this one would be more effective so um, yeah so I, I'm kind of convinced that I think it's the um, the medication but I think that later start times are helping as well he's not getting as many hours but that we can work with and work around uh, he's still getting at least eight hours a day but he was getting 12 to 14 hours a day um, but I don't like to bank on overtime anyway I a lot of people budget overtime and I mean, at least like uh, jobs like that. I know a lot of the guys that he was saying, a lot of the guys, they'll budget overtime. And I always just budget for straight eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, because I don't want it to get like, you know, like I, you know, kind of disappointed, you know, I don't want, you know, I don't want to budget and then have it get messed up. So I don't ever do that. I just budget straight time. Um, but I mean, he almost always gets overtime anyway, but that's just a bonus then. Um, so I'm going to get in there and I will try to check in after work. But if I don't, then you guys will see my dinner and I will talk to you guys all later. Hi guys. Just wanted to check in. Um, it's been kind of a day, but you know, it's definitely hormonal. I think what is going on because I had a little hiccup at work with not with my present position, but from something from my previous position, and I just 
completely like lost it and you know I mean I cry really easy anyway with certain things but it's like when you get so mad that so you like I don't know it's like stages for me so there's just like your your regular stage and then something makes you really upset and if it really hurts you you get really mad and then so it's like I was at that mad stage and then when I had to go over it again what happened I got to that like it went from mad to I was just like lo losing it I just like start crying and so it's like that you know so then I'm just like why am I you know I mean it wasn't anything I did so I, I don't know but it's just like it made me so mad that I just start crying and so it's like I don't know so I am just for some reason just so emotional and hormonal and just it's just crazy so I don't know but I was so busy today that at least I didn't have time to eat anything but I did eat one chocolate after that whole incident <laughs> I was offered a dark chocolate so I just took it so I had to count that so it'll be two points it was one of the dove dark chocolates which I think are two points so I'm gonna count that um, other than that the only thing that I had today extra just because I was just so busy and I think just everything going on I just I don't know I guess it just I wasn't hungry and um, so I ended up um, what, it? what did I have I showed it to you guys I'm sure I did I did I forgot to show you my lunch till it was almost done so I have that um, oh my yogurt I ate a yogurt and that was after lunch it's just because all this happened this happened right before lunch and then it happened again after lunch when I had to explain the story so I was so mad during lunch that I could not even eat could concentrate I just didn't eat so I didn't even take my entire lunch I just I just didn't want anything to do with it so I ate my lunch part of my lunch then I ate my yogurt about an hour after other than that I think that's all yeah that's all I've had today so um so yeah so you've seen everything I've had today so it won't be very many points but and then tonight I'm going to do the way with rancheros so I'm on my way to get my son right now at school he had an after school club today and I'm gonna go get him go home make dinner and just curl up on the couch with a hot cup of coffee and just try to forget about everything so anyway sorry the last couple days have been just really not good but I promise things will get better maybe tomorrow will be a better day so I will talk to you guys tomorrow bye guys